all right guys welcome back to another street fighter duel video i know it's been a while since i uploaded so what i want to do is i kind of want to make a video on how to make a team and i'm not the best when it comes to team compositions i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say i'm the god or um the greatest of all time making teams right i'm not gonna lie so what i want to do is try to help people understand how team compositions can work in you know how you can better progress throughout the game if you're stuck a lot of people get stuck on like 940 1140 primarily stages where bison's involved or where there's a lot of aoe opponents the people get stuck uh, stuck on those stages so i, I want to make this video for people who need help or people who are confused on what team compositions they should use but guys before we get into it please leave a like and subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate it and if you're looking for street fighter dual content you found the right channel as i love making street fighter dual content and i know you guys enjoy watching it and if you guys are messing with it i'm gonna keep uploading so go ahead and leave a like and help me out with the algorithm uh but yeah nothing else to say about that let's go ahead and let's just jump right into the video so like i mentioned um i want to make this video to help people out and you know just make teams and how to progress through the game better and a lot of uh a lot of people I see get stuck on the 40s. Um, no matter what chapter it is, it seems to be the 40s. That's the hardest part of it, pretty much any chapter. So what I do when building teams, I, when building teams, I usually stick with one primary team and I try and build upon that. And when doing that, I kind of manage to progress faster. So what I mean by this is I'll, I'll actually go to the story mode. So I actually was stuck on 1640 for like four days. Uh, no joke, like four days I was stuck on 1640 and I just didn't know what to do to beat it. And I just could not do, like I could not do anything to pass it. But I ended up beating it with pure strength alone and, you know, thinking. So when making a team composition, you, you pretty much always want to tank a DPS or two DPS and a healer or a support you always always want to have some type of support dps and tank comp this team right here sometimes i'll switch out elena for rose rose is good but she's very technical and sometimes she brings the team down just because she doesn't really do too much and elena is really good because she heals and you know provides support so she's very good there um then i got my two dps's cami and ryu Cammy's very fast. So one thing you want to note when making a team is speed. Speed is a big thing. If you don't have a lot of speed, you're not going to build up your super bar fast. You're just not. You're not going to build it up fast enough to get your super off to like, you know, start your combo and stuff like that. You're not going to be fast enough. So you really do want to try and get Cammy, Chun-Li, Beast Zangief if possible. You want someone with just fast speed but really good damage burst. That's what you really, really want. Cami is very, very powerful and fast. Cami is pretty much one of these units where she is always going to cause you to hit first no matter what, unless someone's faster. So she's at 133 for me with speed, but then you give her this fighting soul right here and she gets 10 speed. Um, it's just insane. Like it's, it's actually just insane. But like I said, you when building teams, you, you want to have your main setup of tank dps support that's what you really want however there are times where you do need to switch it up so if you're facing off against bison um ask one of my friends on twitter how the hell do i beat 1640 he recommended that i use someone with aoe now i actually ended up i believe beating it with beast zangief i hate hate that you cannot check how you beat it only other people can check like when they're at that stage it's it's kind of dumb but it is what it is um so I ended up beating it with Beast Zangief. Now again, Beast Zangief, he's a balanced unit. He's not a tank. He's not a, a, a ta he's balanced. He's everything. So Beast Zangief, very, very strong unit. When I put him on the team instead of, I believe Bison, uh, it, it was just, it, it, it took everything I had, but I ended up beating it. Now, like I said, you primarily want tank DPS and support, but when you switch it up, you can actually win depending on the stage itself right it's not all the time where you have to rock the same 
you know, the same team composition. Depending on the enemies you face, you might actually have to bring in someone you never thought you would use. I don't know, like Blanca sometimes, or regular Zangief, maybe C Viper, E Honda. Like, you might have to bring in some of these units that are better for these stages than others. A, a really, really good example of someone who's very, like, very strong is a guy. I don't think I have. Do I have that? I don't think I do. Um, I might have used him for food. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I might have used him for food. But a good example of this is Guy. Guy is a really good example of a unit that's not that great, but he does have one thing that can help you beat Bison if you have him built. The fact that he can hit the back, the back position. <laughs> that's it. Literally, the fact that he can um, attack the back position can actually make you very very effective against fighting someone like bison who just can't die until you take out all of the allies on his team so he attacks the rear position he attacks it seven times and then he also can interrupt and then he also gets um his crit rate up if their hp is lower than 50 percent so guy again guy is one of these units where he doesn't he doesn't really do much i'm gonna be honest with you he's not that good of a unit but his super can actually give you an advantage and besides that i believe guy is pretty fast too if i'm not mistaken i believe guy is pretty uh pretty quick so you have someone like guy who literally can hit the back decapri hits the a target with the lowest hp so she's pretty good if you have um you know aoe units and if she's attacking the unit with the lowest hp that can be very good too so you just want to make sure when you're building your team you really think about these things not all the time do you want to have a team where it's just burst damage burst damage and burst damage that can be good i'm not gonna lie sometimes it can be nice just to have complete maximum dps burst damage but it's also not that great because if you're facing off against a team that has a tank or bison right it's not going to be great unless they're all aoe's and really strong single target skills so you just want to make sure that you're really thinking about what you do when you make team compositions like this in my honest opinion there is no like specific best team in the game i i don't think there is because just because of how this game works i don't think there is a de facto best team in the game are some teams better than others for sure but i don't think i can just straight up say oh yeah if you have this team you're you know you're gonna cheese through every stage in story mode because that's not the case like you could have bison um i don't know you could have all the greatest units in the world bison evil ryu uh beast zongief with I don't know, Elena in the back, something, I don't know, right? But there, there is no de facto best team composition you can make because no matter what, you either work on your main team and that main team has very good synergy or you use other units. There, like my team before, you guys know this, right? My team before was Makoto, Ibu Ryu, and, or I guess I say Mad Ryu, and I forgot who I used before I brought, came, oh, Guile guy was my my uh, third but i eventually ended up switching because one guy was, uh, t in, my, in my opinion not that great but two um i needed to switch it up guy just wasn't doing it so cami's faster and stronger just uh, just plain and simple she's just faster and stronger but there are you know there are builds where you can really eat when you use um let's say again you use like someone like guy right there are there are builds i don't want people to just assume there you can't use these characters because a lot of people are saying they suck that's not the case there are there are teams like see how i just like i just breeze through this <laughs> right and i don't even have bison there are teams that can get you really really far in the game i mean of course if you have bison like that's a really really big help or like uh gen i i do want to use gen but he needs he needs better equipment. I need to get a copy of him. I, I want to use Gen. I, I do. He he seems like a really fun unit to use. But um, yeah, like even even for someone like Fei Long, if you have a good team comp for Fei Long, he, he could even he could be good. Even he could be good. So it's not like he's complete fodder, trash, whatever. Um, in most most cases he is. But there are certain things you can do. Like if you have a full flame faction. That can help you in tower, right? That can help you in the tower, in the flame tower, because he can be very, very strong there. Because literally, he eats off of 
flame faction teammates. Like that's literally his passive. <laughs> like it's literally his passive. So he eats off of that. And then also he's just burning the enemy. He attacks with flame damage. He has flame vulnerability. Um, everything he has is just based on fire. <laughs> like every, literally everything. So if he goes up against someone with a lightning faction, he's gonna die. Like there's no answers for butts about. It. He is dead. <laughs> like there is no no uh, uh, what you call no answers for butts about it. But Fei Long definitely can be good. And that's one of the things I like about this game is that no matter what unit you're using, there are pros and cons, and there is no de facto best team to counter another team. It's just plain and simple. Again, like I said, there are gonna be teams that are harder to beat than others but at the end of the day as long as you use um you know as long as you use your brain pretty much you can win and all the like all i i, I don't know how to phrase this a lot of people use auto battle and i was one of those people when the game first came out i was like i don't need to manually play if my team is strong enough then I can just, you know, auto it. That's not true. <laughs> That's far from the truth because you do need to actually um, manually play it when you get to the harder stages. Uh, sure, could you auto it? I guess that that is a possibility. But for the most part, it is going to be difficult because of the difficulty in um, enemies. It's just plain and simple. They get stronger. They get, you know, a lot faster, blah, blah, blah. It's just going to be a lot tougher to win in these you know these tougher stages on auto battle so that's pretty much my uh like my thoughts on team building again i'm not gonna sit here and say i'm the best at team building but if you want specific team builds i'm sure you can look up videos on that and i'm sure you could find out a team that is good for you if you want me to try a team let me know um and maybe I, I can work on a specific unit. Like if you have a team build in mind, I don't know, like E Honda, Mayor Cody, Yang, and Blanca. I don't know, for example, just a random team. Let me know, and I'll definitely try my best to get them up to uh, get them up to par. I, I definitely will do my best. Let me actually unlock this for Fei Long. Um, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Let me actually do this. So I do want to use Fei Long for some reason, and I, I don't know why. I have him SS. I don't know what I was doing with him, and I don't even like Fei Long, but, but for, for some reason he, he's as ass. I, I don't, I don't know why I did that, but okay. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in team compositions. But again, like I'm gonna end it off. In my opinion, there is no best team. There is none. Uh, I just, I just think that you have to look at the team you're using see where it can be built better i have a lot of actually let me just show you this i have a lot of uh presets here right i have a lot of presets some of these teams are good some of these teams are bad blah 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 but at the end of the day like i have a lot of presets and sometimes i'll use these teams over the others because they just work better in different situations so um if you take anything away from this video you want your team to have good synergy so you want to tank you want a dps or two, maybe you can even have a balance unit like Bison in the back, a DPS and a tank or something like that. Support with the with the uh, tag unit. The the assists don't matter until you get their assist skills. I, I'll be honest, until you get their like their fighting spirit assist skills, assists don't matter too much. But they will they will definitely help because they give you stats. But until you really get their assist skills, I don't really think that you're you're gonna, you know, you're gonna care too much about them. But that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I helped. I I really just wanted to give information, to be honest. But hopefully, I did help you guys out. If you're having trouble, thanks for watching the video, guys. Leave a like and subscribe. And as always, you already know, I'm out. Peace.